My name is Dr. Ng. Ah, Dr. England. I used to be the principal at Spokane Washington High, but quit when a one Jeffrey Keaton and his older brother David had poisoned the school with darkness. Huh. I After didn't Jeff know that had been one many of the years only locked away in Ferguson's asylum, he escaped one grim night. Yes, he did. Unleash the inmates from their cells, burning most of the large asylum down. Among the ash and scorched brick lay a black bag with a collection of VHS tapes Whoa. labeled Project Z. You mean Project Zalgo? I will watch and listen to them all in hopes to start to learn what happened behind those wretched walls. And behind more walls. importantly, understand what lurks in that boy's eyes who walked into my life so long ago. Mm. These are the lost tapes. Ah, that's the footage from the human the humanizers too, right? But mostly he said that he's going to learn two stuff. That the Project Z and something about learning about the boy, what's wrong with him, what's wrong with Jeff. So all this time, since one of his uh removed films that was taking place in the year 2009, that's well, it's the story, of course, but 2009. So, he's he been in that asylum for all this time, since like 2014, and that's the time when he decided to escape. Wow, if that's true, then holy moly, wow. Him trapped in there? Of course, that would make sense for take years, because for David to plant all those bombs, it would take a whole entire year to do all of that. Well, since this series came out, I'm excited because we decided to learn more things about them. About Jeff, uh, Toby and the others from the asylum, and if we, bet, if we get to see Laughing Jack. Ah, that's a Jeff's new look. Impressive. Besides, of course they have the good looks of the of Jeff throughout the story, uh, before he got been burned once again from that that mine shaft, when we only see his true look, of course. But seeing this, it's really confusing about the audio drama version of the cover. But if we finally get to see his look from the audio drama to this. Wait a minute. Is this looks familiar of the mask to some character I have to wear? Something familiar. Ah, forget it. Of course he wears another mask or somewhere to cover his face in the dehumanizer one. Hm. Ah, back to his old type of act Jeffrey, self. Good to see you again. I must say you're looking a bit worse for wear. <laughs> Doctor Ferguson. But let's get to it, shall we? How are you feeling in our care, Mr. Keaton? He was more fun than hell. Oh, now, Jeffrey. And where would you be if not at Ferguson's? Sickle Forest? Another town, perhaps? Oh, you can't go home. No. Be it very literally. You and your brother have burned your house down. Isn't that correct? Chicken? Chicken? You didn't already have that information, Jeff? Oh, I such a thing. Oh, um, so... Stranger, my brother, maybe. Do you mean your older brother, David? Did he perpetrate this fire? Well, I don't know everything. Oh yeah, he did. Because I remember looking back to those to that old movie. Oh, she's dead. Well, we're not sure yet. 
haven't been able to look She's well. dead, don't you remember, Jeff? You saw her lying on the floor, bleeding. She's dead because of you. You killed her. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, please, don't blame on your brother so much because he had a horrible life and same as you, so you two work together. Oh, yeah, the fire for his face. Me that's the town nickname for you. Jeff the Killer is a falsehood. I guess that name's no longer useful anymore. I don't know, could it? So you didn't kill anyone? No, 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 how could I? Look at me. Look what Chris Max did to me. He only just gave you the face, though. Not a killing. But the killing? For all your hate, of course. We are not, my boy, Jeffrey. I want to start doing sessions with you. See, I'm currently videotaping our time together. I think talking to me can really help you. Perhaps we can clear this whole mess up. If you didn't kill anyone, you clearly don't belong in my care. Here at Ferguson's Asylum. Are here but to help you. Since you are here. How about we do all that we can to assist you? Sound good, Jeffrey? Oh, what? Even just listening to me call this is different. Man, Jeff was in fact different in that time. Before he acted a bit different in the the house of Jeff Killer and the others. How about we take off? That mask. What do you say? For the camera. Cheese. <laughs> just fine until my friend. Say cheese to the camera. The Taking camera. your picture. You lunged in a panic to your bedside and quickly covered your face with that pillowcase. I didn't want people to see. What are name to your true self? May I take it off for you? Whoa. Diane, please get me some coffee. Black. Oh, that's Toby's line from the blood of Jeff the Killer. So many references. I must record now. This is entry three. I, Professor Dr. Christopher Ferguson, have made an interesting discovery deep down in the darkness. Since Ferguson's was first built as a psychiatric hospital in 1925, the basement has always been used for storage. The basement. Until recently, I discovered purely on accident that there was a sewer level past an iron passageway door I'm almost certain not even my father, the first Dr. Ferguson, knew about. I found a chamber of tunnel. This was not a modern sewer system, no. At first, and only at first, I thought there were oil running through these cold, dark Victorian chambers. Could that be? oil mine, perhaps? I mean... Coleman's Mining Company has done a lot of digging in historical downtown, as well as south side of Sickle Forest. Listen closely. It's not oil. In fact, I have absolutely no idea what this substance is. It's Salgo's blood. it flows like water. <laughs> but water does not move by itself. Or climb up walls. Climb. Cl 
lie. It's Algo. How are you today? I couldn't sleep last night. Oh, and why is that? Thought. Man, I thought you were going to say it's about your <laughs> eyelids. I'm losing my mind. Jeff, my poor baby. <laughs> it breaks my heart to see such a nice young man going through such a tough and unpredictable time. Mm. Is there any way I or any member of my staff can help ease your so-called mind? I don't like my roommate. But, Jeffrey, you don't have a roommate to speak to. Oh, I know Very what he's alone. talking about. In 1428. But I do. Into the eternal darkness, into fire, and into ice. Into ice. Oh, that's mm. sad. It's hitting me again. <laughs> what in the world? Is that how he cry? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, please, and uh, thank you. Oh, the emptiness. <laughs> it hurts to breathe. It's hard to breathe. Now, Jeffrey, you cannot use this tissue with that mask on. Mm. Let this nice guard here remove it for you. Let's see your you face. Can wipe all the tears you want. <laughs> Uh oh. Yeah. Whoa. God, assist Jeffrey. Oh, please. I thought he just jumped to attack, but no. Oh, there is his face. Jeff, my boy. These are tough times, are they not? There have been so that's what it's like because um Facial I forgot the other YouTuber name who did amazing who did on animating the Jeffrey Keaton movie the first one before the audio dramas to have it the different look of Jeff. Oh, what an interesting time but now we they Patrick decided to uh, ah, but you know, change Jeff, his look I guess. You mentioned a roommate. I'd like to get back to that subject. As I said, you're in that room absolutely and completely alone. No, that's not true. He screams. He screams so much it makes me sick. I want to scream back at him. Scream until my very organs leap out from my body and strangle him. Mm. Then kill him, perhaps. I'm trying to understand who you're talking about, but no one comes to mind. Can you tell me his name? That would help a lot. What is his name, Jeffrey? Whoa. I call him Steven. Steven, the spider. Oh. Is it? Is that the end? Is that the end? Oh my god, is that the end for episode one? Hmm. That's a pretty good episode. I hope you enjoyed this acting, folks. And, Patrick, you've done amazing to create this series. And I can't wait for episode two. And I don't know what it's going to be about for the second. Probably about more things about Project Z. If... The beginning of the, the episode that Robert Eng or Dr. English was talking about two things that he's going to learn on the Project C and learn more things about why Jeff become this way. So maybe, of course, we get to see a bit of stuff for Project C for uh, Dr. Frankenstein's investigating on that basement room around those, those underground stuff. But who knows if episode two will be about that, I guess. Besides... 
Of course, in that white mouth argue drama that Zago brought white mouth back, and I don't know if. So, like, how the heck white mouth get to the asylum? Since we did saw him in the audio drama, but um, okay, I, I try to think, I'm trying to think, and uh, but then Zago wants white mouth to get Jeff out of there, but that didn't work. Besides, who knows if we might try to get some more things about White Mouth a bit because that was supposed to think about it, right? In that audio drama that Zalgo wants White Mouth to help him to get Jeff out of the asylum. And uh, who knows, we'll get a little, more, little bit more to it. Well, folks, and Patrick, I hope you all enjoy it. That's the Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.